Russia is using conscripts to contain the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region, indicating serious resource shortages in the Russian armed forces. This was stated in a comment to CBC News by the former commander of the U.S. ground forces in Europe, Lieutenant General Ben Hodges. It seems like the Russians are constantly trying to repeat the same thing. They've certainly lost thousands of experienced troops and commanders who are now being replaced by less experienced and less trained people, Hodges said. According to him, Russia is not only unable to replace wounded and dead soldiers, but also to restore equipment that was lost in battle. The general does not observe any significant changes or innovations in this matter from the Russians. Recall Vladimir Putin has lost two-thirds of the troops he had prior to the Ukraine war, Kyiv's latest military figures suggest, as the Russian leader's manpower shortage deepens with Ukraine's relentless incursion into Russia's Kursk region. The figures were provided by the general staff of Ukraine's armed forces, which posts estimates of Russia's troop and equipment losses daily. Its latest update said Russia lost more than 600,000 servicemen. Prior to Putin's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, the Russian armed forces had some 900,000 troops. Putin has added more troops to his army since, signing a decree in August 2022 to enlist 137,000 more troops and 170,000 more in December 2023. Recall, since the beginning of the military operation in the Kursk region, the Ukrainian armed forces have already taken control of more than 90 settlements of the aggressor country and more than 1,250 square kilometers of territory. A military commandant's office is currently operating there. Reserve Officer of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, military analyst Andrei Kramarov, noted that the Russians were forced to transfer units that were in the south of Ukraine, in the Zaporizhia region, and were a reserve for the occupiers on the front line. This somewhat eases the situation for our troops. Meanwhile, British intelligence reported that the Kremlin is trying to protect the Kursk region from the Ukrainian Armed Forces offensive by attracting units formed from specialists. They stated that one of these units was a specialized motorized rifle regiment formed in May from personnel of the Aerospace Forces. According to Western media, in its attempts to stop the advance of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region, the Kremlin is transferring military personnel from the front to the region, as well as young conscripts with superficial training, little heavy equipment and questionable leadership. Russia is tracking down and detaining Russian deserters fleeing war abroad, the Wall Street Journal reports. It is noted that two and a half years of the war unleashed against Ukraine have literally devastated the professional army of Russia. The seriousness of the shortage of soldiers was revealed by the operation of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Kursk region. Russia has not been able to return its territories, even after the withdrawal part of its forces from Ukraine, the publication writes. It is noted that due to the colossal losses in Ukraine, Russia used aggressive measures throughout the war to try to maintain the size of its army. In particular, the Russian Federation has stepped up its campaign to punish draft dodgers and track down those who have left the country. The UN Special Rapporteur on the Russian Federation, Mariana Gazarova, stated that the Russian authorities are effectively involved in the kidnapping of deserters abroad. According to the WSJ, about 50,000 Russians have deserted or refused orders to fight. Russian lawyers say the numbers are much higher, as many are quietly coaxed to return by promises of lenient treatment or threats to their families in Russia. In 2022, Russia passed new laws toughening penalties for desertion and disobedience, including up to 15 years in prison and confiscation of property. According to court statistics, authorities have opened more than 10,000 criminal cases on such charges, the publication says. Private military companies often referred to by the West as mercenary organizations and Storm Z units, which are described as penal military formations, have the highest levels of desertion, Russian independent outlet The Insider reported in late May.
Moscow has relied on these fighters for some of the bloodiest fighting in the most intense areas of the front lines in Ukraine. Verstka, an independent Russian news outlet that was founded shortly after the Ukraine war began, said in an investigation that hundreds of Russians who refuse to fight in Ukraine are being forcibly deployed to the battlefield. Some are held at gunpoint and are physically abused or detained if they resist. Verstka's investigation said that Russian authorities may be pivoting away from prosecuting military deserters and cancelling their trials to redeploy them to the front lines in Ukraine in an attempt to boost the army's power in the war.